Often Brighton Heights has ended. Police took a man into custody just a short time ago on Brandon. And good evening to you. I'm Paul Martino. It all started when a man barricaded himself inside a home along with a woman. Our Pam Serrano live at the scene now with the latest on how police rescued that woman and arrested the suspect, Pam. Good evening to you, Paul. Now, neighbors and police sources indicate the man inside that Brighton Heights home was known to police. And when officers received a call for a domestic assault today, they wasted no time getting a woman inside the home out of that home. Now, the call came in about 1.15 this afternoon to the Brighton, Brighton Heights address. That's the 4,000 block of Brandon Road. City of Pittsburgh Zone 1 officers were backed up by the city's SWAT and tactical negotiations team. When they arrived, the woman had been injured and officers needed to get the woman in the home out as soon as possible. Police used a ladder from firefighters to reach her on the second floor of the home. The city's public information officer, Chris Tognari, explains what happened. She was inside the home still with the male who had assaulted her. Officers had attempted to make contact with the male. The male refused to let the female uh, exit the home, which made this a hostage situation. The SWAT team, as well as the tactical negotiations team, were called to the scene. Negotiators uh, were able to communicate with the male. They spoke to him uh, on the phone for over an hour. The male was not cooperative. Now, officers used tear gas and went in with a canine to get the man out after he barricaded himself in the home, refusing to come out. 47 year old Mark Vrain is under arrest right now and facing a laundry list of charges. They include aggravated assault, unlawful restraint, strangulation, terroristic threats, reckless endangerment, along with drug charges. Officers say they found drug paraphernalia inside this home as well. Now, the woman was taken to the hospital, and so was Vrain. Now, additional charges are expected. Police are sitting in front of that home, and a search warrant has been executed. Once again, police say they are familiar with the man here, and additional charges may be filed. He also may be a former city employee. We'll have more on this story coming up in our Later newscasts live in Brighton Heights. Pam Serrano, KDKA News.